Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beard Thinker. Today we are going to work on the Travis CI integration. We'll start in 10 seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you. Your support means a lot. And now, let's get back to video. In the last couple of videos that were related to the GitHub and Travis, what we did is we split our configuration. I showed you how you can publish your configuration either privately or publicly to GitHub. And also we configured the Travis so that any change on your configuration on one side or on the Home Assistant on the other side can be checked together with each other and see if your system passes or fails compiling. If you did watch my September stream, you also seen me have an issue with the, my recording setup when I tried to update it to the version 0.115. The issue itself was pretty easy to fix, but it shows you the advantages of using Travis CI for continuous testing. So let's see how Travis could have helped me. If we go to Travis CI website, here you can see result of my September stream testing of my configuration. I have a fail and as I'm not doing continuous testing, meaning that I didn't create any automation inside Home Assistant on how to trigger Travis and how to check my configuration against the latest Home Assistant build, I of course jumped to the update, just pressed update and it failed and Home Assistant restarted in the safe mode. How I could have prevented that is something what I'm doing with my main setup. So my main setup is doing continuous testing, meaning whenever I make any kind of a change and push it to GitHub, it starts to test it. But also on the other side, whenever all the developers and all the people that are helping develop Home Assistant release new version, it is automatically checked against my last available configuration. So let's look at this one. We see that we have a fail. And at the bottom, we see that there is a platform error because the integration YR is not found. What was my mistake? First of all, I did update without checking my uh, configuration. But on the other hand, even if I did check my configuration, this one wouldn't show as an error because the version I'm currently running or I was currently running still has YR integration itself. In the meantime, YR or Norwegian Meteorological Service has asked Home Assistant to remove the integration, so it's not existing anymore. As we already have a GitHub, as we already have Travis configured, what I think would be great is to have feedback from Travis telling you if your configuration is passing or not. Something similar like this where I have it. If we look here and go to the bug, we see that I have a lot of statistics here, but one of the things I do have here is the Travis CI for my bearded thinker home assistant configuration. And this is related to my main setup. I can create the same thing for my recording setup now and have the same information available here. So let's look at what data we could retrieve. First thing is we could retrieve the duration of the build. Every build that you start on the Travis takes some time. Here you can see that my last build lasted one, one nine eight seconds. So this is a little bit more than three minutes, while the build before that was some 10 seconds or less uh, longer. It says when the build was done and what is the full commit SHA. Here we can see the time the build started. This is the commit date of the build itself. Next, of course, is the information on when the build finished. What was the build ID? And last two are the uh, last build state and last configuration state. Both have passed. If we go to my GitHub repository, data that you see here corresponds to the data that you can see here. So this was my last build. This is the information for the commit. If we go here, this information here represents more or less same information that I can receive in Home Assistant. At the end, you are really looking only for one thing, and that one thing is information if the build has passed or not. This is at the end the only information that you need. 
how do we do that well first of all we need to create additional github personal account token why because this token needs a bit different configuration than the others we already have in personal access tokens you can see that i already have a couple of those here this is the one i created for my main setup and let me show you how you need to create a new token so that Travis will be able to access the data that we want to track in Home Assistant. Let's press on Generate New Token. Let's give it a note. We will call this one Travis Recording Token. And this token needs specific scopes. So let's see what we need to select here. First one is Repo Deployment. We need to access deployment status. Next one is repo status. We need to see a commit status. Next thing that we need is, let's find it here, read org, read organization and team members, read organization projects. We need user email to access user email address. This is only read only. And we also need write repository hooks. If everything is okay, you should have following repo status, repo deployment, read org, write repo hook, and user email. And let's click on generate token. Here we now have a new token. Remember to copy it because you cannot see it after you refresh the page. You will have to delete it and recreate new one. Let me copy it. And now we can go back to Home Assistant. So the next step is to configure Travis CI integration inside Home Assistant. And this is done through the configuration YAML file or sensors YAML file. Let's open up Visual Studio Code. And now that we have Visual Studio Code open, we need to go to our sensors YAML file. Remember, I removed all my sensors from the sensors YAML file. And what I'll do here in the new file is something that you should just do and add here. So for me, it will be sensors folder, create new file, and we will call it Travis CI.yaml. And inside that YAML file, if you are using configuration.yaml file, you should have something like this sensors. platform Travis CI and here you should put your API key remember we do not put and we never put our values here instead what we use we use secrets file so it will be secret and let's call this Travis CI key after you create this inside your configuration YAML file or inside your sensor file, I misspelled it, sensor, it's not plural, it's singular. Don't forget that in your secrets file, you should add this Travis CI key. Travis, Travis CI key. And here you just paste the key that you've copied from the GitHub page that we just created. Let's save this. Of course, this is a fake file. Don't forget to do it in your real secrets file. Let's go to Travis CAI. But since I'm not using either configuration YAML file or sensor YAML file, I have to fix this and make this work in my configuration. Okay, so this is how it will look for me and every other person that has started to split their configuration. So now everything is ready. You have your GitHub personal key for Travis CI generated. You have everything here. Next step for us is to go to configuration. Server control check configuration. And we have to restart our server.
While the system is rebooting, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel and who was able to join me on the stream yesterday. The next stream will be in uh, October. And if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on any channel updates. Of course, while you are here, you can also go to my Discord server. The link to that Discord server is down in the comment section of the video. And you can also find me on the Twitter. Now, let's just wait for everything to finish uploading. And our Home Assistant is up and running. Okay, let's go to Developer Tools. Okay, so we should have at least one, but since I didn't specify what repository information I want here, I should have both of my repositories that are exposed to Travis. Let's check both of them are called config. Yes, we have information in regard to Home Assistant config, but we also probably have this one which is yes recording setup so now i have information for both of my repositories and let's add that to new dashboard and we'll call this dashboard maintenance save and let's add entities so bearded I should probably go search for config, it would be easier. And we'll call this main setup Travis CI. Here. And let's add also Rick for recording one, two, three, four, and five. Save. Oh, let me fix the name just recording setup Travis CI save so now I have information for both builds this is for my main setup and this is for my recording setup and what I need to do is I need to uh, copy my configuration to github and make sure that I get next state as passed let me quickly do that. Okay, I've now updated my repository. Now online there is a fresh new version of my configuration. Let's go check what's going on there in the repository. So I still haven't refreshed the page. Let me refresh it. We now have three commits. The last one was a minute ago. This is all that was updated in the last commit. And we can see that Travis is still working. It started 49 seconds or 52 seconds now. And if everything is okay, we should receive passed. And if not, we will receive failed. Let's wait for it to finish. And 2 minutes and 37 seconds later, or from the start of the testing, I received green light and my update passed check. Let's go to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, it still didn't... Yes, it just finished and updated the last state. So it took 157 seconds and the state of my recording setup is also passed. There you are. This is how you create Travis CI integration and also you see why would you want to have Travis CI integrated inside your home assistant. In the next episode, I will show you how to create automations that will be started when there is a new release of home assistant and also how you can receive notifications if something failed with the Travis. But this is it for today's home assistant how-to. 
I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up, it means a lot. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you have any kind of a comment or suggestion for this video, for future videos or my past videos, you can always find me on the Discord server, but you can also try to reach me down in the comment section of the video. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.